This method can help answer key questions regarding how we can better select for maize varieties that produce more nutritional food products and also how different nutritional compounds react to current food processing parameters. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows us to analyze multiple samples in the laboratory simultaneously, and it allows us to sample the beginning, intermediate, and final stages included in the production of cornflakes. Visual demonstration of the method is critical since many of the steps that increase the throughput of the protocol are not intuitive and result in cross-contamination of samples if caution is not taken. To begin, place a 15-liter pressure cooker onto an electric hot plate. Add one liter of tap water to the pressure cooker and heat the water to 100 degrees Celsius. While the water heats, add a sugar-salt solution and 100 grams of flaking grits to four one-quart canning jars. Next, use a glass stirring rod to mix the solution with the flaking grits. When the water in the pressure cooker begins to boil, add one liter of tap water to reduce the water temperature. Then, place the canning jars containing the sample flaking grits into the pressure cooker. After the water reaches a rolling boil, replace the lid of the pressure cooker. Cook the sample flaking grits at 15 PSI for one hour. Then, allow the pressure cooker to cool and completely depressurize. Carefully, use heat-resistant gloves to remove the lid from the pressure cooker. Next, use special...